Hey guys, Last Adventure here, talking to you today about one of the best destinations I've been to recently, the island of La Gomera. La Gomera is the second smallest island in the Canary Island chain and is a great destination for a day trip or possibly a couple days if you have the time. Because it's the second smallest island in the Canary Islands and because of its remote location, it is somewhat inaccessible to get to. There are ferries from the other Canary Islands with distances varying depending on which island or perhaps the mainland where you're coming from. Having said that, the way I got to La Gomera was from the island of Tenerife, which is only an hour boat ride each way. So two hours of your day on the boat. In addition to the boat ride, I recommend you go with a guided service. While La Gomera is that great destination I was talking about, you're going to experience it the most fully with a guide. There are limited rental options given its remote nature. There's remote facilities. You might not know where to go. And uh, let's be honest, at some places on the island, there's not a whole lot of people, which is really appealing, but could leave you in a spot of trouble should you not know where to go. I went with a 4x4 guided group. I thought it was a great experience driving around the island in a Land Rover. There are some really great windy roads and we got some great views. Now, obviously everyone can't afford that, but there's a number of excellent guide services that'll give you a similar experience as to what you're going to see in my video, minus the festival at the end, which I'll talk about in a minute. La Gomera has so many interesting things and items of cultural significance on the island for such a tiny location. For example, the capital of San Sebastian was a spot where Columbus stopped on his way to and from North America, which is not something everyone knows about. There is a house in San Sebastian which purports to be Columbus's house. Uh, my guy told me there were some questions about the historical authenticity of the house. However, this is a great spot to visit in San Sebastian if you have the time at the end of your tour or your visit. Um, many of the many things about La Gomera is the biodiversity present on the island. They do have some banana plantations for the Canary Islands banana, which you'll see in the video. And it also has the Garange National Park, which has some of the largest laurel forests in Europe. Now guys, I know what you're saying. The Canary Islands are off Africa. It's not Europe. Well, I understand. Technically, the Canary Islands are still owned by Spain, and Spain is part of Europe. And therefore, the Canaries are considered Europe. If you want to consider it Africa, I completely understand, given its geographic proximity. Having said that, for purposes of full disclosure, it is Europe. So, Garange National Park, great area. You gotta do some hiking in there. You're gonna see some hiking in this video. And you gotta experience the old growth forests that are present at the top of the island. La Gomera, also geologically significant because it goes over the hot spot and there was active volcanism on the island many thousands of years ago. Today, not an active volcano, but the remnants are there. There are lava plugs. There's evidence of volcanism all over the island. Great steep mountain features that have eroded over the course of time. La Gomera has so many things. I think you would just have an excellent day there as I did. In this video, you'll kind of see the route of my day as we left the capital from the boat through the banana plantations, up through the highlands of the island, into the Grand Jay National Park, and down back into the capital. The one thing you'll see at the end of the video that you probably won't be able to get to experience is the Festival of La Romaria. This is a regional festival, it's a Catholic festival. It happens only for every four years, and it is something that is sacred to the people there, and also turns into a huge party afterwards. Obviously, you're probably not going to get to experience, but you can see what I saw on the video and get a flavor of what's going on. So come on guys, let's go check out La Gomera.